I want to review the alternation of generations with you. So we're used to haploid and diploid organisms, but in alternation of generations, there's actually a generation that's haploid and a generation that's diploid. And just like with diploid organisms, we're going to see fertilization occur and we're going to see meiosis occur. We're also going to see mitosis occurring. So the cell cycle that we know as a diploid organism is still happening in these alternating generation plants. And so let's start with fertilization. So we get this diploid embryo and it goes through mitosis to grow into a mature, what we call a sporophyte. And so what I've drawn is a fern because I love ferns, but there's lots and lots and lots of mosses and algaes that go through this kind of life cycle as well and have a sporophyte form. But in this case, the really big plant that we know as a fern is the diploid sporophyte. And that sporophyte produces spores. That's why it's called a sporophyte. And so those spores we see like on the underside of the leaves as these orange clusters. And that process from diploid to haploid spores is meiosis. So it's still that halving of the chromosome number. And so after meiosis, those haploid spores grow into tiny, so this is not at all to scale, tiny haploid adults in a fern. And they, within this little plant-like haploid adult, this is a mature adult, it's called a gametophyte, there will be different regions that produce sperm and eggs. And then the sperm containing regions release those sperm and they travel. Again, it's a very tiny little organism. They're able to travel over to the eggs, maybe in droplets of water, and fertilization occurs, and then a mature fern would grow out of that, almost kind of out of the gametophyte um, because it's gonna, the, the fertilization's gonna occur right there at the, that location. And so you have this diploid generation followed by a haploid generation. And in the evolution of the plant kingdom, um, plants started out as mostly haplonic and then they went into this alternation of generations. And now we see, you know, flowering plants, basically the gametophyte is contained within the plant. So the plant is essentially diplonic because all we see in the world are the diploid generations and there's no mature gametophyte adult. So that is a little bit of botany for you, a little bit on the cell cycle. That's alternation of generations.